We present MVS Nerve, a novel neural rendering approach that can achieve fast and generalizable radiance field reconstruction for novel view synthesis. Given a set of captured images from multiple viewpoints, novel view synthesis is a long studied problem that aims to synthesize a new image at a novel viewpoint. The recent state of the art technique Nerve, or neural radiance fields, can achieve photorealistic rendering quality, but it suffers from a super slow percent optimization process taking more than 10 hours for radiance field reconstruction. Our MVS nerve instead leverages a feed-forward network that generalizes across scenes and can efficiently reconstruct a radiance field in only 15 minutes. Our 15-minute optimization results are of very high rendering quality, which are comparable to nerve's 10-hour optimization results as shown here. The key of our approach is a generalizing feed-forward deep convolutional neural network that can predict a very good initial radiance field via direct network inference. This instant radiance field can already achieve reasonable novel view synthesis results. Besides, this initial radiance field can then be fine-tuned with more input images and quickly converge to produce high-quality photorealistic view synthesis results. Here we show our results from direct network inference without person fine-tuning and our results with only 15-minute fine-tuning on different scenes. We can see our initial radiance field already recovers the overall shape and appearance reasonably well, and the short fine-tuning process can quickly and significantly improve the quality. Our network is trained only on the DDU dataset. Nevertheless, our trained network can generalize well across many other datasets, including the forward-facing dataset as shown here. We now compare with two recent concurrent methods, PixelNerve and ABRNet, that also aim to achieve generalization of radiance field reconstruction. All methods are trained on the same DTO training set. Here we show comparison results on a DTO testing scene from direct network inference using the same three input images without any person fine-tuning. We can see our method can achieve better rendering quality than the comparison methods. Here we also zoom in and show comparison on the image crop. This illustrates that our method is able to preserve better high-frequency appearance details. Here are more comparison results on other DTU testing scenes. Our approach consistently outperforms the comparison methods. We also compare these methods on scenes in the forward-facing dataset. Remember, all three methods are only trained on the DTU dataset that is highly different from this dataset. In this case, pixel nerve overfits to the DTU scene distribution and completely fails to generalize on this novel dataset. On the other hand, ABRNet and our method can clearly generalize better. We now compare with ABRNet in detail. In fact, to boost the performance of ABRNet, we use 20 images in total as its input, and sending the three nearest views of a novel view to the network as done in their paper. In contrast, our network uses only three fixed views as input for all novel views. Our approach can still achieve better rendering quality with less obvious artifacts as shown here. We now show comparison results with the IBRNet with per scene fine-tuning. Though IBRNet is fine-tuned with much longer time, our method can still outperform it, and our 15-minute results are again comparable to NERVE's results optimized for more than 10 hours. In general, our approach generalizes well across diverse scenes in different testing datasets and can achieve photorealistic view synthesis results with only 15 minute per scene optimization. In addition, we also show visualization of some depth maps converted from our radiance field. These detailed depth maps demonstrate that our radiance field can decently model scene geometry. Thanks for watching. Please refer to our project page for more details, and our code is available at GitHub.